The purpose of this video is to quickly run through the things that you are going to be asked from Midland Mortgage if you call in to try and transition off of one of your COVID forbearance plans. If you are a subscriber to my page, welcome back, good to see you. If not, make sure you subscribe, like the video below. I am trying to post as many lender-specific updates as I can as I kind of go through the process. So if you have a lender out there and you want more information about what's going on with them and what their specific process is, leave me a comment below and let me know who you have and I will try to prioritize recording a video about that lender. So this video, again, is for people who were on one of these COVID forbearance plans you didn't pay your mortgage during COVID and now you're ready to transition off of them. If you have one of the five government backed investors, which is Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, FHA, VA, or USDA, there are many different transition programs backed by these investors that you can apply for. And so when you call Midland Mortgage, they are going to have you answer a few questions verbally before they kind of go over the different options that you can be slotted into. Most of the options now are streamlined, meaning you should not have to submit a document package. So if you're being asked to submit a document package, you might wanna hang up with the bank and do a little bit of independent research on your own just to make sure you have to provide documents before doing so. There's other videos on this page kind of telling you who has to and who doesn't. A lot of stuff is being updated right now, but I really wanna make sure out there you're careful not to just send in a document package if you don't have to. What's hard right now is sometimes the lender customer service representatives don't always exactly know what guidelines they need to be applying because everything kind of is changing. So I recently, for example, I just went one with Shell Point where the first person I talked to said, no, it's not streamlined, you need to send us pay stubs. I was able to escalate it to a supervisor who said, oh, she just wasn't looking at the right screen. You don't have to send pay stubs. So that kind of disorganization does happen. So just make sure you're really paying attention to kind of what the overall overall research is related to your investor. If you don't know who your investor is, you can always call your bank and ask them, who's my investor? And hopefully it'll be one of those five government backed investors. And then you can kind of go from there. So when you call in to request a COVID transition from Midland Mortgage, they're going to ask you a pretty standard question. Is the COVID hardship resolved? And so since you are trying to get back making regular payments, you want to answer yes to this. Answer yes, even if it's not fully resolved, if you feel like you want to make your mortgage payments. There's no benefit to you to answering no or kind of or not really. Some of us know that there are still some ramifications and consequences of COVID going on, but if you don't need to tell the lender that if what you're wanting to do is resume making mortgage payments. So is the COVID hardship resolved? Yes. Second question, um, is this your primary residence? Yes. So many of these government-backed transition programs like modification programs or partial claim programs or deferment programs require that the property be a primary residence. So they will ask you that, you say yes. And then they're gonna say, are you married or single or do you have anyone else who has an ownership interest in the property? So all this is asking you is who is a borrower on the loan? Is there anyone else that has an ownership interest maybe on title or on the loan? All you need to do is answer if there is another co-borrower on the loan. So if there's somebody else on title who's not related to the mortgage and you're the sole person responsible for the mortgage, you can say, it's just me, I'm the sole person responsible. People let that live in the household that contribute to your household income or others that are kind of around, if they're not on the mortgage, don't draw them into this process. It just makes it more complicated. And so all the bank is really asking you to confirm is that you are the primary borrower and that you're the only borrower. And you can just say yes, and then you're good to go or just answer the question. It's not necessarily yes. You can say, I'm the borrower or my wife is a co-borrower and I am a borrower and then you can kind of leave it at that. And then the last question they're going to ask is about your capacity to sign documents. They will say, do you have the capacity to sign documents? That's a little bit formally phrased. What they're really asking there is kind of like a checkbox in their system to make sure that you have the ability to kind of make informed decisions. And so they're just trying to make sure that when they go through the process and they send you a packet, you're going to be able to read them, understand them and execute them. And so for those of you out there watching this, you answer yes. Um, if you end up at the end of the process needing a mobile notary to come to the house, that's a different issue. This question, you just wanna answer yes to get the process moving. If at the end you need the lender to send a mobile notary to the house, some lenders do, some lenders don't, but that is not what they're asking you right there. You just wanna make the answers to these questions as straightforward as possible. Once you answer the questions, the representative from Midland Mortgage will then go through 
the different options available to you, they should be able to give you estimated terms. So if you're, for example, an FHA borrower, you might have a partial claim uh, available to you where they kind of take the balance, put it on the end, and you stay on your original mortgage and just resume your regular payments. Or you might want to go into a modification review. Right now, the main program is the FHA recovery modification, where they kind of restructure the loan so that your payment can go down, your lower interest rate, your, your interest rate can get lowered a little bit. But they should be able to say, these are your kind of two options, pick between them. And if you want more information about those particular options, um, watch the videos on my page and do some independent research yourself. So if you have Midland Mortgage, that's kind of what you can expect. If you have a question or a comment, again, feel free to let me know. Good luck.